Welcome to Off Grid Contracting. Welcome to a very special video by Off Grid Contracting. This is our custom built atmospheric water generators that are off grid. Now, um, this one here we've been testing for a while and I also custom built this one to look like a GX8 moisture evaporator off the desert world of Tatooine off Star Wars um, because, well, I don't really care for Star Wars anymore. Um, for various reasons, but when I was a kid, I was impressed by the technology. And, um, you know, I was working for a customer on this particular project, and I was like, you know, there's got to be a way to make water from air for people um, and efficiently. And so we found a way. And the other reason that this prompted me to build this, and then I'm going to get into all the bells and whistles of how this works, is that we have found working across the country for people that. Um, Rain catchments are illegal in a lot of places, and um, for the life of me, I can't understand why it's illegal to have the water that comes from the heavens above, but we have found that there's not a law on the books anywhere in the world for taking the air from a molecular level and pulling it out and then making it into water. So that's exactly what we've found a way to do, and uh, I'll start going over that right now, is this particular unit, the actual function is built in the box right here and then the actual uh, collection area right there which is a retrofitted um, uh, cooler just one simple five gallon water cooler and we have a accurate weather station up top so you can actually monitor this thing remotely from inside your home and you know the the unit that's inside of the um, box right now and I'll show you here shortly if you have a temperature of 85 degrees and a relative humidity I think it's of 80 or 85 degrees um, then you can make roughly a small eight ounce bottle of water every 24 hour cycle so that's pretty impressive being that um, it's just that small little unit um, the great thing about it is it can be powered by an 85 watt solar panel um, or if you want to really roast it out you can put a 130 watt solar panel on it and make a ton of water output now just a couple notes on the um, the running of the unit um, it's actually very quiet so you can barely hear it which is good if you don't want to draw attention to yourself having one of these units out there um, on a piece of property um, the actual screen that's over this we can actually put a DuPont microbial filter behind that so to also help filter the air that is uh, coming in from outdoors because let's face it there's all sorts of garbage being sprayed in the air these days um, and you know that that's just a, a further shield to you um, for that now the solar panels um, if you want to check the iCard link right there where we've done portable solar generators um, and continue to do those for customers for different applications where they can roll. Uh, we fix the panels where that they actually have folding uh, leg brackets on that so we can do that with these panels um, for the atmospheric water generators unless you're going to do a large system um, which will require um, you know 500 to a thousand watts so that's obviously going to take up um, and, and need actual solid mounting. Now this particular solar system uh, we get from Hurricane Wind Power these are synthesis solar panels um, really great solar panels. So you can also have a weather station built on the box. You don't have to have all this extra stuff. This is just for aesthetics to make it look 60% to scale like the uh, Star Wars moisture evaporator. Now the box is actually built out of Lexan glass. This stuff is hard to grind, hard to drill. You, you can't even shoot through it practically. It's um, bulletproof, pretty, pretty thick stuff. Uh, we went above and beyond to build this to last. Um, we also have hooks down here so you can anchor this thing down even the smaller ones that don't have all this on it so in case you're in a high wind environment it won't blow away so without further ado we'll open this up and here is the bells and whistles we've got our solar coming in um, through a charge controller now when it comes to emp the reason we went with 85 watt solar panel is with the load that we have and the battery to buffer it worst case scenario emp fries everything you still have the option that the solar will carry through the battery and charge the um, uh, power of the DC unit which we'll get into in just a second. This has a solid state relay that will run the um, dehumidifier up until a cutoff point which will give a long life to the battery and also not damage the battery but also let it run late into the hours of the evening when humidity is very high especially in the summer. Um, we also have a 35 amp hour battery built on board. Um, this dehumidifier unit has been custom fabricated with a fitting allowing it to pass through and drop down into the, the five gallon collection so you can see how much water you have in there. 
the sump pump is on a switch inside there so that you can easily turn that on the minute and they will do that last and i'll drink some of the water to show you it won't kill you and um, right here we have a microbial heavy duty onboard filter the unit um th this one actually we had to mount on up inside the aesthetics because it is so large i went above and beyond on this to just give a demonstration of how far we can go with these now the dehumidifier runs pretty efficient uh, we have definitely found that the higher the humidity obviously the more water is produced and um, and for such a small unit you can definitely get a lot of output of from it being also a strictly a dc unit um, the wiring harness on it and everything is custom fabricated to accommodate it um, we can also do a larger unit that can i believe it can produce up to 12 ounces of water uh, in a 24-hour period so i mean we can we can definitely for the small applications um, get larger um, and for the large applications we can definitely crank out some gallons and i mean it's really all into what you want design guys and your budget uh, when it comes to that particular aspect now the system can also be ran off the uh, ac power um, we have a six amp uh, charger unit that can actually be uh, affixed into the inner wall here that will join into the battery bank and you have the ac plug drop out right here and so there is that option of you know putting it on a timer for nighttime runtime so you can actually run the unit 24 hours a day um all year long if you wanted to just depending on where you're at it's tropical or you know summertime you want to run it all throughout the night there's a lot of application there um you know for that if you had an additional solar system or off-grid power and then you just wanted to run that um you know off that at night because of the limitations of the battery capacity on this particular unit we can also make huge units that require large solar system um, and with that said, I mean, the great benefit of that is, is if you, um, you know, do a large solar system as seen here with this, then, uh, I mean, larger than as you see here with this, if you have up to 500 watts in this unit, for this particular unit, say you bolted this down on your property, we found a way to actually make the same government that says you can't have water on rain catchment, we found a way to make them have to pay you 30% back on your federal income tax for having an off-grid water station. You can contact us for more information on that. So we've really been thinking this through um, when it comes to the alternative energy on it. Now, as far as the dehumidifier goes, like I said, it can make about eight to eight and a half ounces of water over a 24 hour cycle. Um, and that will give you, um, you know, a small bottle of water um, during that time frame. I uh, have a water bottle from earlier today. Now, the way that this works is with the sump pump, we have it restricted through that filter so that it just won't gush water everywhere. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is turn on the pump very quiet inside. Then you're gonna wanna put your bottle up near it so that you don't waste a drop and then do like so that way it don't go everywhere um, we, we've really tried to restrict the water flow down because we don't want to waste a drop uh, water is precious and then let me drink this uh, what you want to do is turn your drain cock off turn the pump off and good to the last drop and uh, you know there's a lot of application for this um, you know in places that water is very scarce um, you know I've been I've been thinking about a lot of applications for this the larger units the the only drawback that we have on this is this particular unit has no moving parts other than a sump pump so the pelty air plate actually cools the air then it catches on the uh, condenser cools and then goes right into containment down into the barrel if we build you a larger unit that would require decent size, you know, uh, 500 watt or 1000 watt solar system, that compressor ran unit can make gallons of water in, you know, 24 hour time period. So if you want to make gallons of water, you know, it's a large um, setup on site. You can contact us for more information on that. If you want one of these that are portable to set up, this particular unit costs $1,200 to make. Now, about $300 of that was just aesthetics. Um, we've also found a way to reduce the battery and things like that. Um, so, you know, with, with those things taken out of the equation and some of the parts that are available from some of our vendors, um, we can now fabricate this for just in the hundreds of dollars range. So we have yet to find a atmospheric water generator on the market that can create consistent amounts of water that is continuously off grid other than what we've built. And we would be very interested to find out if there is such a thing out there because I've looked. Um, and uh, so I hope you enjoyed this 
make sure to check this out at offgridcontracting.com. It's on our customs page on the custom shop. And guys, we'll build you anything you want. I mean, right here, I really tried to go to the sky's the limit with this one, um, you know, as far as uh, an off-grid water manufacturing facility. And, uh, and I hope this is a help to those that, you know, you can't have a rain catchment. That's kind of what inspired us to build this. So until we see you again here at Off-Grid Contracting, make sure to check out the information on our website. And we look forward to working for you.